the man that runs Costanzagrams. Being it's pretty much the only show I watch anymore, it's safe to say that I'm a fa huge fan of the show. I feel like people have wondered whether or not the, sh the locations on the show were real. They're real oh. and they're spectacular. So today I'm going to New York City and I'm going to try to find as many real life Seinfeld locations as possible. As you can see, I'm riding my bike. I don't want to pay for any transportation. So why pay for anything when if you fly yourself, maybe you'll get it for free. I don't have a Russian hat, but this beanie's trapping in the heat pretty well. Got my gloves on, gotta protect my hands for my future hand modeling job. And the Costanza Graham's hoodie, because you gotta support the team. I haven't had breakfast or lunch yet, and it's pretty late in the day, so first stop, the coffee shop. Just got the Toms, uh, sitting at the counter because Newman's dead. <laughs> I'll be a chicken salad on rye, untoasted, and a side of potato salad, and a cup of tea. <laughs> Nothing ever works out for tuna on toast. <laughs> Hopefully the opposite works out for me today. I'm here with Charles, and I'm sorry, Melly. They're here from uh, Australia. I know there's a lot of Australian fans out there, so shout out to Australia that are fans of Seinfeld. <laughs> Just finished up at Tom's. Next stop, Riverside Park. Park because this is where cousin Jeffrey was working. Cousin Jeffrey is of course Jerry's cousin that Uncle Leo loves to just brag about. Plus it's also where the Lopper was killing people that look a lot like Jerry. There's plenty of people that look like Jerry but not as many as there used to be. This park also has one of the oldest New York City skate parks. Still exactly the same for at least 20 years. This could be Cousin Jeffrey right here. <laughs> 129 West 81st Street. This is of course Jerry's apartment where all the magic happens and where George is a big fan of the poppin'. The poppin' type of guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, it looks nothing like what you see on the show. Just gotta watch out for that air conditioner. but it's been replaced by a Verizon store. But, got a little different Easter egg. They bars, which is where Jerry suggested Elaine can meet a matador at perhaps Zay bars or Ray's Pizza. I guess a strike worked because Festivus, yes, bagels, no. Episode, the movie where Kramer gets out of line because he needed a grace with buy a hot dog. And as you can see, across the street, there's no movie theater. So I kind of found this one by mistake as I was pedaling over here. I noticed I was passing by Lincoln Center and they actually have an Alice Tilly Hall. This is where George said they have the best bathroom in the city. <laughs> Magnificent facilities, as he says. Uh, I don't really know who to talk to to give his name, but I'm just gonna keep it moving. So it's the moment you've been waiting for. The soup man. Yes, sir. My, uh, small lobster bisque. Uh, we're Bread. Beautiful. You're pushing your luck, little man. I just realized I completely forgot to give you guys something. 
Musketeers. <laughs> Unlike Kramer, I give you the full size, not that bite size crap. NBC Studios, where the story about nothing became something. Because without a good story, it's just masturbation. Sardis is where Kramer wins the Tony for the Scarsdale Surprise and Jerry asks, Are you taking a Tony to Sardis? He said the Tony's taking me to Sardis. And look what's right across the street. Bette Midler. So this is a little disappointing. This place used to be called Mendy's. Now it's some other shit I don't even know. I guess I'll never get to try the swordfish. I just was about to have a meal. Soup and a sandwich. It's not gonna happen. They're the worst, Jerry. The worst. So the next stop is going to be downtown. Mr. Wilhelm's favorite area. It's all downtown, George. It's all downtown. I'm on 30th and 3rd right now, so it's a bit of a trip, but it'll be worth it. If I survive the ride there with all these cars trying to kill me. I've been pedaling for a while, and I don't know where I am. Oh, I gotta call Jerry. These guys are still trying to kill me out here. First and first, how can a street be intersecting with itself? I must be at the nexus of the universe. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a slight delay in the tour, so we're extending the tour at no additional cost. No more questions. bike tour hope you guys enjoyed it I'm gonna head inside now and go fight my father and have a feat of strength remember to comment below your favorite Seinfeld quote see you next time